nothing is about this. It's about surgery. You know me. All right. I know, but you know how people shots, are. Yeah, I know you, people I, are I've learned that they want to yeah. not wear the mask, but they want me to do yeah. some sort of protocol. I, I've been well, do you so, live in your car, sir? Or what? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I'm doing it not just to piss off the gro- yeah. grocery outlet. They, they messed me. I, I, had yeah. a, I have a cart. I've been parked yeah. here for two years. I'm doing yeah. Napoleon Law. I'm gonna do national. Yeah, just like Steve. Steve was Steve. Steve. Steve Long. Yeah, the guy he lived in the back there for, for a long time. Yeah. And then they gave him a job there. And... All right, so he's yeah. a good guy. You you you, you feel? But that's right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, because sometimes he kicks out yeah. nomads, and I'm not sure if he's yeah. doing it because 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 yeah. of the COVID. You know what I mean? I felt he was no, discriminating. Just mask, you know, not discriminating. But now that he knows he doesn't yeah. have it, you know that we don't get it. Yeah. He doesn't have a mask. But he didn't let me use the bathroom at, oh, a, yeah, well, at a time when I, I was telling him, I got vaccinated, I, yeah. I, I, I've been tested, yeah. and I have the mask I got. And he got all like, ah. Oh. And I used, he let me use the bathroom because he saw I wasn't, you know what I mean? I was like, my stomach. Yeah. And, and I came back out. I said, yeah. I'll disinfect. I made it all COVID yeah. perfect. I come back out. He's gone. He disappeared. And I, yeah. and, and I didn't see him. And I finally, like, I left. And when I came back later, just much later, he looked at me and he was like, you weren't good that day. And I was like, what are you talking about? I was having stomach aches. It was coming out. I was sweating out my stomach. But not only that, you know there's no COVID. And he took it this other side. And ever since then, he's been, uh, he'll be nice to me. (laughs) But you see my head? Every time, one time he got upset about a, a limp thing. And he started I'm yelling. Right yeah. You know Pepe, right? Pepe who? He's usually here in the mornings. No, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't You're know. only here at a certain time. Well, yeah, because I, I I just moved in this area, but I'm I'm from here. This is my hometown. Right. Well, he's just super cool. Where he lets yeah. me play the cello, he doesn't. And yeah. so, and Steve Vai depends on his mood. Yeah, yeah. You Steve, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, well, he used to be a clip of the gang and everything. Yeah, that's right what now, Pepe uh, explained and said, leave it alone. His aunt just died, and his and his brother oh. just died. Oh, shit. Back to back, you know, so he's kind of bummed out about that. Oh, that's why he kicked this thing. Yeah. Okay, that's he changed. For a while. That's changed the whole story yeah, in my David. mind. Thank you. What's yeah. your name? My I'm name's sorry. David. David, I'm Misha. Misha I, yeah. Everyone here is David, all the spiritual yeah. ones. That's so awesome. Yeah, I'm just like, oh. No, I got mad. Yeah. I, I'm making a protest about that because I have another friend who hangs out around there. Why? They, they, told they took leave. the bench out. No, 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 they, they can't. They can't anymore. They know. Yeah. This is public, right? I believe. Yeah, it's public. But they've made it like, oh, if we're in front. And I'm saying, really? I had this incident with the Plaza Liquors where I've been coming here since I was a kid. So I, I've given them so much money. But they said, oh, there's a mat. And I said, oh, because of this mat, yeah. I'm doing this. They're doing this thing. And so yeah. do you know what a First Amendment audit is? Yeah. You have to automatically film them when it's like this. Oh, Story, yeah, when, yeah, when it's yeah. injustice. Because they'll say that you said something. And that's what happened. Yeah. And he says, well, we're just going to call the cops. Yeah. And I go, do you know in 1969, yeah. I, I'm telling him Dudley, I know the yeah. district, you know, do you know that we had to change this private to public, that like we can yeah. do that in Santa Barbara because of the seals? Yeah. Do you know this story in 69? There's the oil oh, spill. Yeah, yeah, was, uh, right? Oh, strange. thank you. Because everyone's going, fucked up the I don't, there, fucked it up. And it was Shell going yeah. corporate, like what they do yeah, here. Yeah. We'll call this number, a care yeah, number. Yeah. And, and they're like, well, let us deal with yeah, it. We're like, cheap, and they don't let, they, they go, if you go and you start to mess Santa Barbarians with these no, animals or clean them, we're going to say yeah. you're trespassing. And they were doing shit like yeah, this because yeah. they want to do it their way. And, and they had yeah. to do that law. They had to go, well, you know, in yeah. these situations, we're going to say the private is now yeah. public just for that situation. Yeah. And they'll still, still do it now. Yeah, right. Like if you're standing here and even if the guy inside goes, well, you're, you know, gets mad, they'll have to come and then he, he has to explain himself. He has to go, yeah. I'm kicking out this nice man. He's just standing there. No one's worried. Yeah. And and if they allow yeah. what they're doing, even the cop has to go, yeah. oh, we're sorry. It's private. Yeah. But they would go, well, because of this law, because of these seals, it's yeah, true, to, it's true to this day, we can call Dudley. She'll be like, what? Misha, hold on. Who who is this man? I, I just met him. He's Dave. He's fine. Officers tell him right now, 
it's public, Santa Barbara, and we might just take it back from them. And then they behave. They go, well, wait a minute. All right, I'll be nice to the people in the front. And you go, well, yeah, maybe you should serve them water now. But you see, they took away the bench. I never had a bench now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it, just two yeah. years ago. And it's oh, because yeah, these plaza really... liquors, they made this judgment call. They didn't want you. And that's what I did. I did a funny story yesterday because I yeah. saw you sitting in this. And I was going, that's an outrage. I just did a protest saying, put back the bench. And it was all because yeah. they kicked me out over this private yeah. and public. And I said, well, look, I can go over here. And I no, did everything over there. And we were playing music. You can't do and and you know, we, were, we were going, alhamdulillah, you know, because they're yeah. all. And I was telling them, do you know in LA, they're, 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 they're getting sued just over that shit. And the kid said to me, dude's got boobs. And he was making yeah. a joke about something I said about the First Amendment. Yeah. But I went, oh, do you know that some dude like me who goes back and forth from being skinny yeah. and fat, I could get really upset yeah. and say that's a hate crime. And he just went, no, I can do this. And he calls the cops. And I told him, you see that there's cameras? Do you see that they're just going to see me going like this? Yeah. Like, they, But what happened was they have a deal. They just call the inside owners call and say it's private tell them to go yeah. and the cops didn't even go in they were trying to mess with me yeah. and so my friend he's like detoxing on the floor he's a homeless guy and I'm doing this protest that they don't know the Santa Barbara yeah. Police Department they say that they know about um, dealing with people with mental illness <laughs> and I was just in their jail yeah. just three weeks ago looking at well, this paper. Well, you have paper. to get in jail. They're not supposed to take jail. Well, wait. I found out. Bill never do it again. Yeah, no. Sure I learned. I learned my lesson. But I'm it's looking at this. Right now, they, first the nurse. It's supposed she, to be the jail. She took me. Oh, they were messing up. Yeah, no, Behind. Uh, the, okay. You want to hear the story? You, you don't smoke cigarettes, do you? I smoke everything. <laughs> I, I, I think that's the thing yeah, that's see, keeping yeah. me from um, drinking. Yeah, you know what well, I'm yeah, saying? I, um, I quit drinking. And years. especially the Indian. You, oh, dude. Yeah, you, I'm Indian. I oh, see. man. You are spiritual that you. I'm too much from San Inez, but we don't get the money because my grandfather and I married my mother. Uh, Wait, so you were living up there right now? No. We, my grandpa owned a lot of poppy up there, but he has all during depression because oh. he had 21 kids. Whoa. And his, my um, my grandmother, she was British and she had all the money, but she died on uh, 39 on the last child, last childbirth. So but we didn't have enough blood system to get. Uh, Wait, how many kids? They had 21. 21 kids? She said there was no TV in there. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, so so, um, so do you know this whole, yeah. I mean, do you, is there a remembrance? Like, are, are, did some just, that's They're like gone two. now. Everybody in my mom's all of them, they all died already. Wow. The last one they had the property up in San just died with some guy. We don't know who he is, but it was my last answer. He, um, we don't know how he did it, but he ended up getting the land. Everybody's pissed because he's not, you know. Up, up there, around yeah, the, the left over, yeah, around like where the casino is? Uh, no, uh, so, Delmore, by Red Rock. Solving? Oh, by Red Rock. Yeah, in that area. Oh, damn, how'd they do that? Uh, what? How'd they get the land? Because, um, I don't know if it was a boyfriend, you know, at the time. I don't know how he got it. We don't know. Oh, it was like uh, a boyfriend who had like a lineage with somebody know. in the yeah, town. I don't know. We don't, we just oh, don't know. man. She had two boys, but they died before her of cancer. Uh. And um, I don't know. I don't know how they, uh, but, but I, you know, like I say, my grandpa owned a lot of property at this. And he, too much. I mean, uh, but during the pressure, that's not because he had to take care of the kids. So what year was yeah, that? Um, she doesn't wait, I don't know, during the Depression. Yeah. I mean, that's always. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> right? We're always going to have some well, sort of Well, we had depression. the Depression here. Yeah, oh, here. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, here, the uh, on the United States. Yeah, 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 okay. So you got 21 kids, you got to feed them, you know? Well, I don't know, it's, it's a long story. I went back, looking back in there and everything. But the property out there? Yeah. Well, you're doing Depression, you have to see because and, but those people had money and they bought it right there, you know. Was it like trade or was it like, uh, like what would, what would, what would a patch of land uh, I don't know. Consist? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's not like, quarter acres, right? It would oh, be hell like, no. Whoa. There were a lot of acres. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Damn, how, how do they even decide? I don't know. I don't really don't know. It, whoa. 
So, are you, do you feel like you would be the you're the last one? Like we got to count on you. No, there's some some other people who could tell some stories. Can I get a light? There's a lot of us. A lot of us left, and all. But then my dad said there was a lot of on his side too. Yeah, that's a big story. I don't know. I don't care about no fucking money. You can't take it with you in here. You die, you die. No. But the land. The land's I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking like yeah. if there was a beautiful glen or a place where you could go yeah. and, and all of a sudden you got people yeah. you don't know with guns like yeah. shooting at you and you're just like, can I just yeah. sit here for five minutes, take some pictures? <laughs> and they're like, no way. Yeah, Private, you get, right? You get really jealous with things like that. I don't know. You know, I know. So how did you how did you finally get down here? Where? Here, where you're sitting, where you, in, oh, in this, my place. this wonderful car. Oh, you're up there now? Yeah, I have a apartment on State Street. Oh, nice. I was homeless, and I went to the homeless program, and they put me in, up here for a year, and then I'm going to go to one bedroom. All right, so you're, this is yeah. the perfect um, neighborhood. Like you don't like it. <laughs> Hell no. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but like safe-wise, right? You don't feel, you don't feel danger, do you? Well, I don't feel I mean, danger. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I don't feel danger at all. The only place you gotta worry about danger is by the rail tracks. Yeah, the rail tracks. You don't know, you don't know. Yeah, you know, you don't know down at the railroad tracks, you can meet anyone. Yeah, you, know, you can meet anybody, but they'll burn you in a minute. Yeah. So, you know, you just don't flash money and stuff like that. Or, no, but, you know. I, and they make it hard to get down in the tracks, too, but there's always well, a more, reason now to they're take them all. They're taking them all out of here. They're getting them. Yeah, like Caltrans and all, right? They did that big Oh, sweep. no, no. Uh, it's called City and the City. They're, 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 they got even the homeless were helping. And then they said it. Then, then they sent back right back up. Oh, they were so they're, awesome. They're blaming it about they're fire. Like, they're like, well, hey, here, I'm going to move this. Yeah, it's neat. Oh, but keep the stove. Let's just put, like, I'll hide yeah. the stove over here so we can put it back where it was, yeah, right? Yeah, the guy in Galena. <laughs> the guy in Galena farmer really. Yeah, it was awesome. Tapped into the lines over there, a uh, corporation. Uh -huh. Yeah. And yeah. And it blew up and caught fire for all that. And where the fuck is this guy? That's what that fire was? He had a was? stove. He had a stove there. He had a... He had everything connected. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and the cops were standing outside going, I, I do remember that, going like, oh but my God, Breaking Bad, like, it's a laboratory. Yeah, it must no. be a meth lab. And it's like, no, it's just, it's that, just he, the he guy so, didn't know how to, like. You know. No, the guy had so perfect that you couldn't even see. Oh. He was married, he got divorced. Been, so he didn't even know he was. They, well, they, they, oh. couldn't see, they couldn't see it because it was behind a tree. Until the fire came. And <laughs> this guy forget it. He had a maid, man. He had TV and everything. Yeah, the uh, internet and all that, but he cut into but it. But it was all cut into that one oh, no, spot. No, a corporation, <laughs> they didn't know. It, yeah. But he's, See, he's, uh, but I mean, but the fire went first. The fire started, and that's and I'm sure it. it was pointed out. I am exactly. sure it was so pointed out, and, but you know they don't like that. No, where's that's the instigator? Yeah, where's where's that yeah. First Amendment auditor? The only one in Santa Barbara, California. We are smoking uh, these wonderful American spirits. That's right, we do to the Indians. We're, we're talking to a chubash. I'm telling you from the old days, and we used a bic, though they are going to support us, bic, for for our habits. Yeah. All right, they're going to pay for what they did, bic. You just started the fire in front of the Regal Cleaners, twenty eight thirty I where no bicycles or skateboards allowed in this area. Well, I'm taking that sign down. But I'm leaving up the sheriff's love to be yeah, towed. Like, you know, but like that. You know, this is supposed to be a beautiful town, you know. It's not like Amsterdam, you know, you go to Amsterdam, you don't see a homeless person out there because it don't ever happen. No, I've seen them where, when I was in Amsterdam, there would be like some, they, they would be falling down. Right, and it wouldn't even be a homeless person. It would just be someone like on methadone or whatever. Yeah, well, it's and the it cops, is. the cops don't laugh at them. They don't push them away. They help them with their bike, and then they attempt to explain to them, maybe you shouldn't be walking right now. And they sit them on a bench. Yeah, bench there. And that's what brought me back to my protest. Why did they take that bench down? Because they want you doing what you're doing. And I'm so glad that you parked. You have an animal, too, that you're hiding from that sun. They should allow you to sit there because I know at one point or another you bought the cigarettes. Did you maybe buy them at that Plaza Liquor or maybe I don't one buy, day? Do you see where? Oh, you do because it's expensive. I, I'm boycotting them. I go to the 76. Yeah, Is, where do you go? Now I need to learn. Oh, there. That's a Russian. Yeah, that's a different. He's they're green. All, no, they're not Russian. They're all owned by Syrian. 
Yeah. That yeah. one, wait, 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 next to Giovanni's? Yeah, that's in Syria. It's a Syrian now? Oh, the guy no. Owns 30, the guy owns 37, uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. I got to say this. Breaking news. The Russian Ukrainian, he used to have my back. Another safe house, that's right, has been the dust. Oh, I'm done. All right, that, that shows I will never drink again. There's no reason. I could have, I gave so much money to you, all of you Syrian liquor stores. That's a mafia. Hold on. And you let your little nephew straight off the bus say, I have a dude with boobs here looking at me, smiling. He calls the cops. Hold on, I'm bringing the story back. You see, that's called triggers. For my lawyers, I got triggered while just enjoying an American spirit. They're not going to like it. They're Indians. I know. They stole my dream catcher. So, have you been up there at any time there? Right. Like around the Chumash? Um, like around, really around the casino at any time? No. I don't waste my money up there. I don't waste my money, man. They all... Well, it got really weird during the COVID, man. It got so no, weird. No, Beth Parker died. He said, they all spent Parker all this money. Oh. When he died, he says, when I die, if I die, where do you guys pay me on? They have to pay off their... He goes, like, you immediately have to pay off that bill to my kids, I, all, you know, start paying it all at once, you know. No way, Fess Parker. Oh, the, he got him back. We told you. What was he? Um, Daniel, right? Daniel Dan. No, that's Davy Crockett. Boom, was, but, but, oh, but Daniel Boom was his name. Do you, was his name in a, in a, do you remember the song, though? If you if you set me off, I can sing the whole song. I don't Ah, uh, I need, I need, I, it's something like that. Come on. But we'll do Davy Crockett for Fess Parker. He didn't like Davy Crockett, like Bella Lugosi, did not really well, like. Poppy, we're not going to say. Boris Kolov. You know what? They were making payments as long as he's alive because the two said, well, we can't afford all this. Can we make payments? They said, yeah, but if I die, you guys got to, that was the agreement, you got to pay it off. If they don't pay it by a certain date, they got to pay twice yeah, as yeah. much more. They you have to do mean? twice as much or something? They're going to have to pay a penalty on it, and the kids mm. are going to get that money. Penalties yeah, like the D, like the DMV did to me with this car that I'll never pay him back, and that's the Santa Monica Police Department. You can't just on your bicycles hang around. I gotta visit this story. They, they, these bikers, they're on bicycles. You drink coffee eight thirty to nine. You know who you are. At about five to nine, you wait to anyone who's just sitting on the beach reading a Dan Fonte book. You know, to his phone. For his daughter's eulogy, right? I walked back. What did you guys do? All the nomads said, uh, sorry, we didn't know. We would have warned you, but they... You know how much I can afford 200 whatever it was? I couldn't afford it. And the penalties. Yeah, it's like 5000 now. Bust me coppers at my new Regal Cleaners. 2830i building permit. We're going to have to find out who is inside. I, do you know how I could find out who owns the inside walls now? That's a, They haven't been there forever. I know. I squatted it. I've been... I'm dual national. What's that? It's contaminated. dirt and That's why they close it down. Oh, yeah. The regal cleaners that get contaminated. We're turning it into an art colony. Hey. Hey, ho. Independent. Your offices. Come on. Take, take my side. I'm going to tell, I'm going to, I'm going to dox you guys. I'm in front of my cleaners. I'm complaining about, oh, God. You hear that? It's all rusty. It's all put upside down. You have no pride in your newspaper. It's not you. I know it's your delivery service, but they flip me off. Who's on the front? Farming for the future. All right. I agree with that. Oh, the Volt Per Octaves. They're awesome. Salute Bernie. Okay, Volt Per Octaves, you guys know me. Come on, for the MOOC. Do it for MOOC, do it for... Don't do it for jobs, I know. He messed things up. He, it's not his fault. Oh, there's the bells. Hold on, so they know where I am. Those are the mission bells. Those are the padres. They're priests with nefarious pasts, and I will track you down because I am the only First Amendment auditor in Santa Barbara, California. Take that, Ashkelon. Same. I am respecting your page. What time is it? Let's listen. That's one. That's two. For whom the bell tolls? How many times did the, did the bell toll for thee? I'm sorry, I'm back to 
Um, you, there's all this graffiti. It says very major bad things about this Bernie Worrell. Yes, right on the independent.com, Santa Barbara Independent. Yeah, this is your newspaper. There's all this trash on it. Then I was making a, um, a kind of idolizing trash to slab. It's an artist community. And somebody in the grocery outlet took the entire art project. He misunderstood that it was trash. I tried to explain it to him. He came back with some other minion. He came back with some other minion. He was saying some story about that. I was going to say that I scratched, he scratched my car. I said, no, that has to do with Jeremy of the Shell station, right? That's that story. So Jeremy, they're getting you involved. I want to tell you my duck's number so you can find me. It is 2467. It is in red. It is in, it is in my window. I got one of those Ford STs, 2018. It's got the blue little hidden blue blue and red lights are you understanding me jeremy yeah undercover so undercover in the night leave me alone right my own cops do that when they see it from afar that's why i've been in this area for two years just right why did love's towing not tow me because if they're just going to tow to my house the dude loves me he lives next door right yeah and he's from Portugal, and he didn't want to um, translate one time this band, Quinto Sol. Yeah, I, I got a, it's something with my ex, Ingrid Luna, when we were married. We were coming back from our honeymoon. We were pissed at each other because I was being an asshole. I got it finally after the divorce, after I got the papers at a really bad time. These divorce papers. It was brought to me by a minion, by a law company. That's right. This law company just sends this minion while I, as a divorced, you know, crazy divorce, un unexplained First Amendment auditor mute, um, was taking my daughter, yeah, Santi, to, uh, true story, to school. And you send someone like that when I, you know, bipolar. You must have known. Anyways, don't do that to your pawns. You know what it is. You guys, lawyers, are going to laugh him till he doesn't want to do the job anymore. And we need the good ones. So don't send them to, you know, don't be social workers and put your noses in the wrong place and play with someone. All right? All right, good night. Sorry, man, I had to take that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it. You're going, all right, then. You want to say goodbye to my mama? This is my mom on the phone. Um, no, it's one of my sisters. If you want to know if I'm still okay. okay. You take care, okay? You too, Dave. Okay, you're right. awesome. What's the name of the dog? Boo. Boo, Boy. you're so quiet. Can I pet it? No, he doesn't know you. He doesn't like it. That's here. cool. Thank you. No, See, some people, they don't tell you or they just go, get out of here. No, he'll bite you because... Really? Food. He's protecting you, yeah, right? No, he's protecting his food, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got food there. Yeah, ah, right. right now, oh. You know, oh. some people don't listen to yeah, I was explained. Uh, Thanks, man. Thanks for talking. Uh, you take care. You too, Dave. I'll see you tomorrow. Because everyone is, what's it say on his shirt? Is allowed to use the bathroom. Oh my God, you guys did a thing that's so much better than the grocery outlet flip, flipping me off. Right? I'm walking away and it says, we are in this together. Oh my God. That is such a hypocritical sign. They put it right in the front. I did a whole video about it. You guys didn't watch. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. They're wrong. I'm right. I told you the protagonist. Just go with it. Even if I'm, if, even if I go Dexter, come on. Stop being those people who yell during the whole thing. Say, that wasn't true. Your tell is not worth that much. Let's not exaggerate. You know, let me tell you about those cops are assholes. No. Wait till you see the story I'm going to be reading you. It's called, oh man, I'm never going to let you go, sir. It's too bad you saw me last week, right? I'm, you're my bitch now. Yeah, I hope you with your wife, I hope she made you some borscht and she said, take a look at what a First Amendment auditor is. Auditor, auditor. Huh, mm, First Amendment auditor. All right, First Amendment. Maybe I'll start there. All right, First Amendment. Freedom of speech. Yeah, I told him he was a... I knew that bipolar was like, 
it turns you into an asshole and you suddenly the bad bipolar. And I was saying, we all know you, son, that you're okay. But I was saying, no, no, it's this other rookie that you're leading, you're, you're leading them on with your velvet suit. He had this velvet suit and he was pointing to his graying hair and he said to me, um, while he was pointing to his badge that had no number, I didn't believe it was a real badge. I think they just woke him up. Maybe they have pajamas. Santa Barbara Police Department, that man, if you let him out with all these alcoholates, yeah, I don't think he had anything harmful around his waist. But I mean, it's what he said. And it has nothing to do, all the other stuff was nice. I would have loved to have him off camera saying all those things in front. Uh, I mean, he could have done it in front of the minions because they weren't listening. They were all going, yes, we know what bipolar is. And then they came very close to me. And then they started walking over to my friend who is detoxing, but you guys can't take him away, right? You need to learn these laws. And I suddenly went, well, wait, why are you going to him when these Syrians called you? And you guys suddenly backed up. Yeah, it didn't matter that you had lied and said to me, you knew what bipolar was, rookie. It didn't matter that the guy didn't, like, reprimand you right there and go, dude, you don't do that. No, it meant you guys don't know how to deal with people with mental illness. And I don't know if I finished the story because that, you know, that other guy was interrupting and I was interrupting him, right? Uh, that's, but I have to do this, otherwise I forget. And so this is for Nina. You gave me a message saying something very heartfelt and I'm going to go back and continue writing it. But you really need to hear that other audio first and then get to this one into what I'm saying now before I can... You would need to rewrite, probably. You would have written, rewritten all of it. So that's all I'm saying. But I love the heartfeltness. And most of it, you know, it's the PTSD. You found it. Nina won the game when she, in the beginning of the game, six years ago, I believe, said, I don't want to play your game. I ain't going to play a game. Life isn't a game. And I was saying, yeah, but you said you wanted to help me. I'm doing this one last thing that I'm trying to do the opposite of what I've done because it hasn't worked so far. You're still working on your accepting the fact that the other things didn't work. And you're, but you, I don't feel that that was a way to find this new thing. So later it became an experiment, right? I had to do it all scientific. I'll get into all that later someday. Uh, that, that's all boring stuff, but I'll make it interesting. But right now, it's, I need to get these stories out. It, it's too many stories. And... And it's not a special place. What you were saying was perfect. I, that's what I told Mama at the end. She was like, you just need this place. You need to go to this place, get better. But I was telling her, yeah, but it's got to be perfect. And in the, all the videos that I had been sending you way back, both of you, and in some of these audios that were just like direct letters, somehow, I think nobody had time to really listen. Because every time I would ask Mama questions the next day, she would answer like, oh, I think I went to the bathroom. And then she would spend this whole time explaining why she had to, why I shouldn't feel like slighted. You know, it always gets turned. And this time I switched it. I said, no, do the opposite. She should have stayed in the room and waited like I do through some of her conversations. I mean, I've spent hours and I have an issue now because of Lyft with my, you know, it has to do with peeing, but it really helped in this situation because when I was doing the experiment, I had to go pee since they weren't letting me in all these places. It wasn't a lie. So my stomach started to get worse and worse, but I had to keep doing this experiment, which was driving for these companies, delivering food, having every rich person be like over paranoid about this Oh my God, I'm not going to talk about this COVID that we're spelling with a K. We're COVIDs. The COVIDs already knew way back when. And we have doctors who are going, and scientists, and they just go, yeah, let's just wait this out. We don't, you know, it's how the government contains you. I know that sounds like I'm some cult. We don't care. I say it's a conspiracy theory. I'm just doing conspiracy theories. And Nina, you know the truth that. Jeanette Neveu, 
She wasn't no lady. She was a they or a them, whatever. We have to get the gender right. But she was the first. He was the first. No, I got it wrong both times. They were the first violinist of that gender to win that competition. Wow. Back probably, was it in the Holocaust times? I don't know. But transgender, whoa, it wouldn't have passed. Ah, I don't think so. So isn't that amazing, though? Because of this amazing conspiracy theory, but, you know, it's the truth, like what happened to Kurt Cobain and Christian Pfaff. You guys are going to have to look for that video so that we make it. It's a documentary, but we got too much hate mail. Who from? Yeah. Big people. Like, like what happened here. But we're, we're going to turn it around if we have enough help. If there's enough effort, we can make that happen. Because that was the most popular um, documentary that we got scared out of doing. Yeah. All right. I think I've said a lot more. You have to hear all of these, Nina. That's a personal one. But it's a personal to everyone. You know I switch back and forth. You might, it might be you, but it's universal. I'm trying to make it universal that you just like me, the protagonist. It's my story. I shouldn't be lying to you. And I'm not. And if you really listen to the details, I always tell the truth in the details. And my lawyers say that's all that matters. And they just said, slow it down. They always stick you in a thing and say, oh, okay, you got to come here at this time. You got to be wearing these clothes. It's got to be in a certain time. All right, now, 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 you get your time to do it. Now you get your time to shine. Uh, what happens to you? Well, we'll talk about it later. I don't know. I got the stage fright. Well, everyone yeah, gets it. Just grow out of it. I know, I know, I know. It's a personal journey. Can I just play first? No, I don't want to play. Ugh. Now I'm going to hide out in the bathroom. Everyone's not making a big scene. Oh, my God. Did you guys not see the wall? Do you think Pink like, had this much trouble? Just come on. Let me stick my fingers in this toilet. I know it's disgusting. Oh, COVID times. Oh, now you're going to come in. Now you're caressing me. Can you just allow me to be naked in this public bathroom? Aha. Back up. I'm doing a First Amendment audit, all of you. Nina, get back out the door. It's it. You're going to call the social workers. Do that. Why did those policemen who did that thing to my hand? Big clue, Nina, for something you wrote me. I'm super glad that you're playing. And uh, had you, um, I mean, had the YouTube algorithm given you some of the right videos for you or um, audio so that you sat down and listened, you would have known that um, it's been six years. I can't play because of this weird thing that happened with these policemen, right? Who did this welfare, supposed welfare check. Turns out, I, I guess I don't own the walls. They were suspicious. They were from, it was Labor Day, right? So all the good cops were at home. So I missed the Santa Barbara barbaric experience. Instead, it was these, ah, these people from, ah, I'd say, Lompoc and Santa Maria. Uh, one girl, one guy. Let's just do it like that. One big guy. The big guy scared. Kitty. For life. Nina. Veganism. Yeah. She's never been the same. We'll talk about that one later. But this guy, uh, yeah. He made things worse, but he, they both walked into what any episode of Hoarders would definitely... And I hadn't been taking my meds. I tried to. Finally, I went, oh, my God, I'm going to go get them. But my um, Labor Day, my, <laughs> my county doctor was, of course, whoops, um, on vacation. Yeah. All right. So that doesn't matter. It, I'm not throwing any blame because this doctor was excellent at certain times, said the right thing. So I'm not going to dox him. That's what I'm trying to tell everyone here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to concentrate on that, on the good love. So remember, any video, any audio, when I was saying the reversal, racism toward this Pepe and all that, speaking to that one Dave, homeless guy that we just spoke to, I, I'm not doxing him. Take away everything I said. I'm going, no, now I understand. And so he is a good guy. 
I will, in some other way, jokingly now, be like, dude, do you have to yell like that? But did you hear the key thing? Was he lost right there, directly happening to him? Somebody important. And it hit that human effort. I suddenly went, you know what? I'm not going to make a big deal to that one guy that they took the chariot that had my artwork in it, which was this trash, which was made up of independent and then Santa Barbara News Press. My God, it was my collage. And I was trying to explain to him how I'm just going to put it somewhere else in a place that's not in their view. But not only that, it was on my side. It was on my Regal Cleaners. They're across the way. They can't come over looking for... Once again, it's not even their property. Let the person who owns the chariot come get it. But anyways, you took whatever my artwork that I'm... I don't know. Depends what um, my dealers in New York, right? At Shell, say. Yeah, the art dealers are going to go... Whoa. I believe that's out of your league. Oh, you're going to owe some money. You might have to sell it like Lars from Metallica had to do some, you know, wheeling and dealing with his artwork. So, all right. Uh, that's a different story, Nina. I don't know if you'll be interested, but yeah, I think you will. It'll be funny. You got to take it like that. Right now, this is true life. I say it all the time in all the videos. It's a soap opera, but it's actually happening. Nobody believes it's happening. They all think I'm crazy. And in the end, yeah. Don't push it, people. Don't push it. Don't push me, because I'm close to the edge. No, Nina, let's go back to that place. Yeah, but I'm making that place. Since I couldn't go anywhere because of the COVID, and when I did, it got even worse, I'm going to just make my place here. I'm going to bring back that old Santa Barbara, bring back those old times, and tell everyone to quiet up. Find out what a First Amendment audit is. They'll say, I don't know. They'll look it up and they go, oh, huh. He, the auditor, he, they, or them. Well, whoever this auditor is, it doesn't matter if they're tax auditor or this First Amendment auditor. It looks like they asked the questions. So, huh. I guess I'll shut up if I want to win this game. <laughs>